Good morning and welcome back to RFID Made Simple. Today, I'm gonna cover one of the most important criteria when you're going to select your RFID system. And most importantly, your RFID tags. And that has to do with tag sensitivity. So what is sensitivity when referring to the RFID tags? When most people think of the performance of their RFID tag and system, they most likely think of read range. Now, I know a read range is important, especially when you're trying to read, you're maximizing that, trying to capture a tag that's 50 feet away, you need every ounce of read range you can get. I understand that. But for many applications, when only a moderate amount of read range is needed, it's more important to have a higher sensitivity than a max read range. So what is sensitivity? Sensitivity is the amount of power it takes to turn on an RFID tag in order for it to respond to the reader. In other words, what is the least amount of power that has to reach the RFID tag in order to get a response? So how does this affect the overall performance of the RFID system? Well, if we take two tags and set them side by side, and we have our handheld reader and we start the read command, you will see both tags populating in your RFID reader. There's a criteria that shows the number of reads next to each of those tags, and the tag that's the higher or more sensitive tag, you're going to see that read rate is climbing, climbing, climbing at a very fast pace, whereas the tag that's less sensitive may be half the responses of the other tag. Okay, so why does that matter, you're probably asking? Well, in applications that require a quick read of the RFID tag, or the, R the RFID tag to be read at a high rate of speed as it's going through the read zone, you need the highest sensitive or the most sensitive tag because if the asset that's trying to be read moves through the read zone too quickly, you may not pick it up if your tag isn't sensitive enough. So how do you know that the tag you selected has the right amount of sensitivity for your application? Well, the simple answer is test it, of course. And test it in a real life environment to which the tags are actually going to be read under. Okay, that's great, but how do I get away from having to test 10, 20, tag, 20 different tags in order to determine the best tag for me? Well, you can reach out to some of your RFID experts who have test equipment that can actually benchmark the sensitivity of many different tags side by side, so you can select the one that's best fit for read range as well as sensitivity. I'll link down below in this, the description my company, Metalcraft, that has state-of-the-art RF testing equipment that can benchmark sensitivity and read range performance to help you identify your application needs. So at the end of the day, it's important to understand that read range isn't everything in an RFID system. There are many different factors that contribute to not only the read range and performance of the tag, but also the sensitivity. And all of those variables will change based on the material or substrate that they're applied to. So it's good to let the experts help you out so that you can minimize the time and effort that it's going to take to get the right tag in your RFID application. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of RFID Made Simple. Make sure you leave some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want made simple.